The NASCAR Sprint All-Star Race was under the lights at Charlotte Motor Speedway Saturday night, but earlier in the day, Trevor Bain, Greg Biffle, and Kyle Larson raced their way into the show. Chase Elliott was your Sprint fan boat winner, and Danica Patrick finished second in the fan boat to complete the 20-car field for the NASCAR Sprint All-Star Race. Green flag, the Sprint All-Star Race is underway. At the start, it was Kevin Harvick and Kyle Busch on the front row. Harvick leads them to green. Now, Kyle Busch would lead the first few laps, but Harvick prevails early and heads to the front. With four laps to go in segment one, Jamie McMurray spins in turn two all by himself. Now, this bites Matt Kenseth, who, according to the NASCAR Sprint All-Star Race rules, had to make a green flag stop by lap 47. He did not do that and was caught on track under the caution. As a result, he's held a lap on pit road and goes a lap down on the track. We would start the second 50 lap segment with just 11 cars on the lead lap and Brad Keselowski jumps out front. On lap 73, Chase Elliott has a problem and slows down and Greg Biffle gets a part of the 24. That causes a chain reaction accident behind them as Matt Kenseth checks up to avoid the incident. He gets turned, Tony Stewart makes hard contact with Kenseth, and Casey Kane, he's also involved as several cars catch damage. When segment two was all said and done, Kyle Larson was your leader. And Panthers tight end Greg Olson would draw for how many cars would have to come to pit road for four tires. He drew 11. If I pull 11 here, it's going to be speedway, pretty impressive. And the number is, <laughs> I pulled what 11. is the number? Are you kidding me? Swear to God. It's number 11. So that means the leader for the final 13 lap segment was Jimmy Johnson. Kyle Busch would also join him on the front row. After the top 11 drivers hit pit road for a mandatory four tire stop, Kyle Larson would be the first car off on fresh tires, followed by Dale Jr. Now on the restart of the final segment, Kyle Larson drives low in the 42 shoots to the point. But in the closing laps, Joey Logano closed the gap on Larson and they would race side by side for the last few laps until Larson gets loose. He gets into the wall and that put the race in Joey's hands and Joey Logano would go on to win the NASCAR Sprint All-Star Race and the Million Dollar Prize. For NASCAR.com, I'm Jonathan Merriman.